That was President Obama at last month's dedication of the George W. Bush Presidential Library. A signature achievement, of course, of the Bush presidency is the 10 years ago when President Bush established the President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, also known as PEPFAR, a game changer in the global fight against AIDS. Congresswoman Barbara Lee, a Democrat from California, played a key role in getting the legislation passed. And Barbara, this was a real bipartisan effort, and it certainly is something that we've looked at uh, with the Bush years, uh, Bono and Elton John and others have all paid tribute to G President George Bush 43 for what this has accomplished. This is, was a major, major uh, effort, Andrea, and thank you very much. This 10th anniversary, uh, really focusing on this, because one, the American people, through their generosity, we've saved over five and a half million lives. Secondly, this is an example of bipartisanship. This actually came uh, as a result of conversations and ideas with, with my predecessor, Congressman Ron Dellums, with the Congressional Black Caucus, then chaired by Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson, also former chairman uh, of the Foreign Affairs Committee, Henry Hyde, the late Henry Hyde, the late Tom Lantos, and the late, uh, excuse me, and Congressman Jen Leach, who formerly was head of the uh, banking committee. We came together, put together this plan, and we worked with the White House to develop it. And uh, believe you me, I can't think of any one more uh, bipartisan effort that has been so successful in really uh, saving so many lives and turning a death sentence into really now what is uh, an ability for people to live a healthy life. And let's talk about some of the accomplishments. Uh, what do you consider the most important uh, sort of signature points about what has been accomplished in terms of combating HIV infections in the continent since we, PEPFAR was, was approved? We've been able to save over uh, five and a half million lives. People now are on treatment. You see uh, young people, children, where 90% of children uh, with the virus live in sub-Saharan Africa. You see now children uh, being born without the virus because of our mother-to-child transmission efforts. And what you see now are people uh, moving forward and really becoming healthy and developing healthier communities as a result of the type of funding that requires coordination with uh, building infrastructure and health care systems, which is extremely important. Also, Andrea, I've been to Sub-Saharan Africa many times. and. Over and over again, I uh, witnessed so many funerals. Uh, the coffin business was a major in sub-Saharan Africa. Now you don't see that anymore, and you see so many people uh, living healthy lives and on treatment. We have a long way to go, uh, and so we can't stop now. You know, this is uh, an AIDS-free generation is uh, within our reach, and so we have to have it now within our grasp. And so we have to move forward, and we have to continue, because if we stop now. Oh, over eight more million people will not receive the type of treatment that they need. Well, I'm just thinking back. I know that Jimmy Carter uh, was so instrumental after he left the presidency in curing river blindness as a scourge in sub-Saharan Africa. And now we see sort of some daylight here on HIV infections and perhaps other diseases as well because the infrastructure is being created. It's being created, and we're moving towards an AIDS-free generation. And, Andrea, I can't emphasize this enough because oftentimes the American people don't really know what their foreign aid money and tax dollars accomplish. Well, our foreign tax dollars, our aid dollars, less than 1% of our GDP. Excuse me. And when you look at less than 1%, of GDP going to one of the most successful foreign aid programs, PEPFAR, we're saving millions and millions of lives and we can see in our lifetime an AIDS-free generation and so we have to move forward and we've got to tweak and fix some of the provisions of the law that, you know, have not been quite, uh, well, have undermined our efforts, but I think we're on the right track. Well, we know you're on the right track. Thank you so much, Congresswoman Barbara Lee, for everything you're doing on this and for bringing it to our attention today. And Thank you very that much. That does it. That does it for